last time we'll be in here. I want to wish you guys all a very Merry Christmas. And uh, this, is, this is our presentation. This is the project we've been working on for the past semester, and uh, we're here to give you guys an update. So, Isaac, Vernon, myself, here we go. All right, so um, we have the most of our ideology on the table. I just like Robert's thing I understand. Most people have troubles with their elevated shelf, so this is a This will help with the so high elevation. And it doesn't use the hydraulic system because the pneumatic system isn't strong enough to grip the system. No problem statement. No problem statement that I wrote up because I didn't like how the old one sounded. Was Many people in the working environment have trouble with collecting or picking up items off the floor. A hydraulic table can assist any necessary lifting in the working environment. And the reason I say this is because of some people, and the thing is, with our competitors being a ladder and a scissor lift based thing, and I actually, yeah, because we're going to find an efficient way to help people while reducing the injuries that could happen with the scissor lift and ladders. And on the next slide, I have those. The thing about our competitors, which will be the scissor lift, is that if it has failures, the scissor lift has actual people on it, and the failure could lead to a sudden drop, therefore causing injury in either the leg or into the nervous system, therefore not having them able to work. And ladders are even less safe because they have less precautions, and that they can roll because some ladders have wheels, or it could be wet, people slip and then that will cause injuries and or the rungs can break as you're carrying up a heavy load and that could cause them to fall through the ladder and we could have very serious problems and they will not have the ability to work or be able to come into work. Uh, oops. Alright, so we did some research and what we found out was that one fifth of the estimated total of between that we found that had research over the a set amount of people of disabilities versus people who don't, and that's what those numbers were. Excuse me, it was blurry, it wasn't that bad. Okay. So, justifying the project academically slash ethically, um, the justification behind this academically is that it will help librarians and like colleges and students to obtain like high bo books on high shelves and other people to get things that are higher than what they can reach because we don't want people like throwing out start their backs trying to like tr stretch their bodies to reach something that they cannot which this can also help um these are our inventor files um this, these two are the bases of the table, and this is kind of like the shape we're going to go for. These two will complement the table top, and the little thing right here is for the um, lift to go into. These are the nozzles for the fact for the hydro or the hovering system to implement a gust of wind, or so that way it can hover for a period of time. And this is the compressed version, and this is the extended version of the actual thing that will fit to push the table up and down so that way it can reach or the tabletop up and down so that way it can reach the higher points and oh okay so this is a scissor graph or a circle thing this blue area that you, hear, that you see right here is the amount of people in the entire in North America takes the cake as far as disabled people who uh, in general work, don't work, we have the most amount of disabled people in the world in our country. And uh, this, is, uh, this is one of the reasons why we chose to work on something that would benefit people who are disabled, people who aren't disabled. Uh, this, is, uh, this is one of the reasons, because here in North America we have that kind of beneficial. And as you can see that this table won't be just used in America, it can be used globally. We will, we will ship that globally so that way everybody 
in the world can use it, not just Americans. But yeah. Okay, so this was mostly something I wanted to put in because I know somebody's like, some of my people are gonna be like, just use a pneumatic system. It's technically cheaper, but the thing is, the reason I we went for a hydraulic system is for the fact that it is able to hold a lot more. Um, weight and it could be used under high pressure unlike a pneumatic system which can just be used for like a simple burst and it might not be able to hold heavier loads and as we all seen before an example of this is that some some construction things use hydraulic systems um, the a disadvantage of hydraulic s systems is the fact that it can leak and can be overloaded if the user misuses it or places things over the recommended plate. So to counteract these things, I have implemented that we have replacement cores for if the leak is present, uh, a 90 day warranty if our table just doesn't work at all, and a label notifying the maximum weight you can use to hold it. So that way none of these disadvantages come to happen and you're just, there's no problems there. And that is it for our presentation. If you have any questions,